That's one of the things that we've been doing is, is just making sure if somebody writes us and says, um, I really love uh, jingles, that piece you play. And uh, so we'll make sure that they get a copy of the music. Stride is a, a wonderful secreted secret of, of passionate music. And, uh, and it, it needs to be out there to be enjoyed. It is a flashy, wonderful style. It makes people happy. It brings joy. And uh, we try to put into it, I think, what um, what the originators did. Uh, you can't see Fat Swallow playing a piano solo without smiling. And you, yeah, that's <laughs> Because there is the essence of the style. Yeah. And once you hear that beat take off, uh, you know, you're into it. And uh, even when uh, in, in playing with our our mainstream jazz quintet that we had in Los Angeles for, for many years. Uh, we'd be doing a piece, piece by Sonny Rollins or Thelonious Monk, something much more updated uh, than the classic stride styles. And um, there are phrases, and uh, I would find constantly that there are phrases and rhythms and figures uh, that came out of stride piano playing that you could interject into the more progressive styles of jazz. Uh, and that made it fun, you know. All of a sudden, the audience, instead of hearing something that was, that was, in the pocket with whatever else was going on between the horns and the and the rhythm section, all of a sudden here's this something that's completely different, as John Cleese would say. And uh, it's another language. Yeah, it's yeah, just it another language. But you can blend it into different uh, different styles. It doesn't have to be playing uh, the Carolina shout verbatim. Uh, in fact. Uh, and, and it's a st st stride is a style that unless you want to be a duplicator and play the exact notes that uh, Fats played on a certain piano solo, uh, you can be a creator within the style. And as Ubi Blake would say, put your own music into it, put your own flavor uh, and improvisations into the piece. Yeah. You used to say, I don't want to hear what I play, I want to hear what you play. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Yes, he was, uh, he sure, and then when we found out that he had actually taught Fat Waller and James P. Johnson. Earl Father Hines. And Earl Father Hines. Lucky Roberts. Then all the pieces came together. Then it all made sense, didn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How lucky we were. What a joyful time. That's right. <laughs>